So, welcome to No Shame, episode 57. Um, in the new year here, 2009, well, 2019, yeah. you know what I mean? That's not really, but because we're recording this on a different day. But I hope you all had a good Christmas. Mine was fucking savage. What was your first grab? Uh, savage as well, yeah. Sick of, sick of it all now. Sick of eating all the food. Now. With him. You don't get sick of all the food. You don't get sick of all the food. I've had three days, right? When I got to train in the morning, I drank, I promised myself, right? I'll train hard in the morning. And then I would just eat and drink everything around me until 12 o'clock at night. And I ended up in me jocks eating yep. sugar puff sandwiches. <laughs> sugar puffs and turkey sandwiches. Me just sweats. Not me it sweats. Is, me sweats. Yeah. yeah. So I have Pete Taylor on, 1985 um, Louis Heavyweight Champion. That's Am I right. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. High performance coach. High performance coach, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Former trainer and fighter to, well, not former fighter, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Still a <laughs> father. Former trainer to, to, to Katie Taylor. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, so there's no doubt you've been on a, on a little bit of a, a life journey in the last little while. As I was saying before, this is um, this is about just your story, your 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 view of things that go out. Because sometimes in, in the midst of everything in life, people sometimes only get the story that is supposed to be put across or, or that. That, the one that sells if you must yeah that's right that's do you know amazing, what I'm saying yeah. so we might as well start at the whole start of this because you've been on a little crazy journey through life it would be easy to say that you you could write a book yeah I've been offered a few times to do an autobiography but it, like, it's, it's a difficult thing to, to put together yeah it's not easy it's not easy so Leeds you're Leeds man Leeds man yeah you're Leeds um, man oh yeah I am yeah oh, Leeds sorry, man man <laughs> That'd be a stupid question, wouldn't it? There's a shit in the woods. <laughs> you can't you can't do anything but spot Leeds United when you're from Leeds. From Leeds. What was Leeds like growing up there? Uh, Leeds was rough. Um, rough place. Brought up in a council estate. Um, it's a lot different to what it is nowadays, obviously, you know, but that generation it was the tough. There's it was it was a tough tough upbringing. Tough place to go to. So, would you reckon that's where a lot of um, your interest in boxing came? Were you interested in fighting came? Yeah. Or, or not even an interest in like a need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Self defense. Self defense. Self -defense. Self -defense. Yeah. There's nothing better than uh, There's nothing better than being able to hit someone to stop other people hitting you. Yeah, well, you've no choice. Uh, this Leeds is a mining mining uh, city, and um, everyone boxes. Everyone boxes. Everyone fights. You know it's. It's just a rough old place. Um, I left home when I was 14. Um, moved down to Great Yarmouth, worked in some holiday camps and then moved over to Bray when I was 16 years of age. Uh, you so you was already as fuckers robbing us in them amusements, were you? All of them? <laughs> I was. Back in the day. <laughs> I, hadn't got a I actually worked in the amusements, would you believe? I, I know, I was reading this about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have. Them amusements, man. We used to go in there and I have a fucking penny coming back. And it'd take you all day to get there back in the day. Because yeah. Jobstown to Bray yeah, was a yeah, fucking yeah. holiday. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when we people when we were going out to Bray, that was that was holidays. Basically. You'd spend yeah. like we're going on holidays for like twelve hours and then you spend all the time back on the thing. The amusements uh, out in Bray are bleeding great. Oh, here's a great story about it. One of my <laughs> my own flair, right, is um my own flair is like borderline gambling addict, I'd say. And I was eleven. <laughs> he was eleven. But he really loves it, right? And we went out to Bray one day and he goes we're over to the deal and no deal thing. And he wins 20 quid on it, right? And you want to see his face. It's like he's at the robbing the place. <gasps> Panics and he's taking the money out. And your man comes out with a security card messing with him. And he's like, um, mate, you're too young to be here. Can I see your ID messing with him right about the thing? And he's trying to take the 20 euro off and messing. Your man's winking at me messing. And he's like, Dad, please. Please don't let him take me 20 euro. <laughs> now, I would have had to kill that man. <laughs> because, yeah. listen, mate. I mean, my money got left here as a kid. <laughs> He's coming back to get it. This is, this is how it works. Yeah. Well, that, like that, it still hasn't changed. No, you put a few fucking quid into the place, it's wouldn't still you? still the same. It's still yeah. the same. Amusement arcades everywhere. In I wouldn't trust them same. fucking roller coasters out there either. Well, they only come when right the festival. I wouldn't trust them as well. They probably came in 1984, did he? What are they then? They haven't put a bit no, of No, they had the, the, um, the they had Dawson's there then. Dawson's amusements with all their. Oh, um, waltzes and all, everything was there. The all waltzes, time. the sick yeah. machines, man. Sick machines, they would put yeah. themselves on a waltz, I like. I was, I used to call them wazers, wazers when I was small. I want to go on the wazers. <laughs> wow, horrible, horrible. And what, you, you were saying that to me before we even started recording here. Yeah, you're forced night you slept on, uh, on, the, on the beach. I slept on the beach, yeah. And then I got a job in the amusements. <laughs> they gave the, the lad sleeping on the beach so a job the in the amusements. Yeah, that's a, that's a, uh, and then, so, like, that's, that's a bit of a, a crazy story to get from turning up, sleeping on a beach to. To rise and update to one day have forty thousand people on that beachfront, yeah, praising you. Forty thousand, yeah. Someday that was someday come after the Olympic Games. But the 
the, the, the build up to that. So back in the day, I've heard a few. You, you like an old fight back in the day as well, I heard. So I heard <laughs> I swear that. Ah, you know, we heard everything. Uh, I used to do that. I used to run the security down there. I used to like them not back in the day. Yeah, I used to run the security down on the beach, um, for, on the put nightclubs and things like that, you know. But, and I didn't drink. I never drank. You know, I didn't drink for, let's say, I drink in the last six or seven years. I didn't drink for. 25 30 years. <laughs> How was that training? It looks better. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Great. How was that training? I went on the gargle. Yeah, Some people at your end are going off. Yeah, the yeah. I went on the gargle. So I went on but, it. Um, yeah. So. But there was a little, there was a little scene, wasn't there, in Bray at that time, no? What's it mean? There was a little fight scene in Bray at that time. Ah, jeez, everybody was fighting. Everybody you? loved yeah, him up back in the yeah, day, didn't yeah. they? And then when you're running, when you're doing the doors, and at the time, I was English. Didn't, oh, help. Boy, boy. didn't help did it you know what I mean yeah, I was going to say, time, yeah. you know, you're looking around before you somebody and then you hear an accent yeah yeah so oh, I didn't help <laughs> Bro. But yeah so, so, but sure, you know yourself did it how, how fast did that go how, how, how long does it seem like how, oh. it's been since then see I actually only feels like it was yesterday I tell you the That's truth you know. with most things it's usually yeah, the answer, yeah it's, it? it's gone from from there to now to now, what I said, where, where I am today, it just feels like it was yesterday, you know. It goes with fast forward, fast, it, does. Yeah, it really yeah. does. If if you had to say to somebody at that age, that that's kind of in that situation now, where they're only kind of they're, they're only putting it together, because there's no doubt if you're walking on the doors, you're getting the US, ah, you're getting it together. Man. It's different as well on the doors nowadays, isn't it? One hundred percent, yeah. You know but I mean? it's harder to get it. It's harder to get even under the doors now. Yeah, it's hard as well, but it's different. There's no. When you're on the doors there years ago, you go over on the beach and have a straightener with someone. And that was it. It was all over. It's so forgot you shake yeah. hands and you go in. It's grand. It's not Nowadays, like it's not like that anymore. No, definitely not. It's but like that, a straightener on the beach. That sounds all right. I'd say it's that. All right, it was grand. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what, uh, what gets you into the, into boxing and braiding? Into the idea of like that becoming, say, even to what you're doing today. Yeah, it's, um, obviously you brought it from Leeds. Yeah, and then I was that. I started boxing. I boxed for Bray, and then I went to St. Saviour's in Dublin. I boxed from St. Saviour's. Then after, when I finished boxing, then I decided to open a club in Bray because there was no club in Bray. Was the boxing know? just complementing kind of the door work that you were doing at the time? No, I was boxing or? before doing that. Yeah, really, yeah, I was really. boxing doing the doors. And, um, and you know, it's, when you're on the doors, you're not looking for hours, you know what I mean? You no, know, sure. You know, the last thing you, the last thing you want to do is a bloody row when you're on the door, yeah. you know what I mean? You're trying to talk to people. And, it, like, you know, you're... Looking, assessing them, and if they're grand, they're grand, you know. It's very rare the diamond sold, but it's very rare. Well, it was in them days, it was very rare the diamond started the trouble. It was lads looking for trouble, really, you know. Look, I know you would have had it down like where, like, there wouldn't be trouble in Bray, do you know what I mean? Like, in my head, I know, I know, like, maybe I was bleeding naive or something like that. But to me, Bray was like, people used to be like, like, we come from the, the tough part of Bray. I used to be like, what? <laughs> Yeah, well, the tough part of Bray is different from town, isn't it? You know, let's be honest. Is it? Like, that's what I mean. Is, like, this was people saying to me, I'm coming to the tough part of Bray, and I'd be like, yeah, oh, what's that? Tough part of Bray, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, now, there's tough parts everywhere in there, this, but like, I wouldn't have seen like that would have been bleeding. That's a nightclub trouble. I just, just drunk and aged. Just ages, you know what I mean? But now and then, don't forget in the summer, then you had a lot of lads from town coming out to oh, Bray. Oh, right. Sorry about that. That was us. <laughs> yeah, it was just. <laughs> that was us. Yeah. <laughs> you know. From that area. So, yeah. and then like, setting up, a, setting up a club in Bray had to be a bit of a, like, that was the first ever boxing club that was going to be in Bray. There was a club before. Did you get objection, uh, objection with that? Ah, oh, sure. We had nothing but trouble getting club, a club in Bray. Nothing but trouble. Cancel, was, cancel a post, everything. You were probably the MMA of the day then. Please. Yeah. Council posed everything. We were we were in a tin can at the start. We used to call it a tin can. It was a galvanized shed. It used to leak and rats running around. Rats had the, had the punch bags one day. All the punch bags, it was that bad, you know. The rats did? Rats did. There was rats and like cats. There were. And then eventually we got his own club, but it took some battling to get it. You won't believe it. And, and the idea of like when you were when you when you were opening the tin shed thing was that your own your own little funding your own whatever you were putting into it. Hey, uh, boxing, you're there was no fun fund, funding in boxing. There's there, no there? funding then at all. There's no funding, so you had to put your own money into it. And nobody wants to sponsor. It. Look, it's like you said in the MMA in the day. Nobody wants to sponsor it. No, you yeah. don't get sponsors. You know. So, so, so the process of um, so you you were obviously there and a part of the process of getting the funding for the sport and and yeah and a tone and all what the guys that were just boxing for fun. But were like high up in the country's like kind of rankings now getting paid. Yeah, yeah, it's that um, had to be an exciting time. Yeah, it was great. Look, look I, look, you know, loved. I loved the box. I still love the boxing, and um, and it was. It was. Look, it was a battle trying to get the boxing club. It was a 
big battle. And now, look at me now. I've, <laughs> I've lost the club now because I was a victim of a shooting. So they, in one, one, you battled so long to get a club, custom made, had it for three, four years, then you get shot, you're in hospital in the council. As big as a coward, a coward's as much as your man that shot me. Go and change the locks while I'm in hospital. And well, was the building not yours? It was a council building. It was a council, it was a council but see. But I, I, I had is, the lease on it. Yeah, I yeah, still have yeah. the lease on it. But it's a council building. It's a council building. Council. Yeah, right. but I still have. I have a lease on it. So all my stuff is still in the club. Oh, still in my rings and all my weights, strength and conditioning gear. Everything's still in the club. And my clothes are still in there. I'm still clothes in there. So everything. you have to be in some sort of situation where like you're in a legal kind of thing, where are you? Yeah, I was just gonna go to court now. Obviously, you know, like the council money, you never get in the fucking. You probably never get in the court. Well, it's gonna have to go. They have solicitors on it. It's gonna have to go to court because oh. all my personal belongings are 100%, there. hundred percent. Yeah, and all, like all, all the gear and equipment and all of that kind of thing as well. Everything's there. Yeah, they have a hundred hundred thousand euros of the gear there in the in the club. We we'll, we we'll go into it. We we'll go into that side of it because there's there's no doubt that that you have a like a. A miscarriage of justice there yeah. most, you know what I mean? Because no one wants to kick a man when a man's down, you know what I mean? Well it's <laughs> But it seems like you're going through the men at the moment. Yeah, look, look Would it be safe to say that? Yeah, look, but that's life, isn't it? You know, yes. you've 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 you don't worry about it, you just gotta get on with it, you know. You just I think I think enough. when it's going down it's always coming back up, isn't it? That's it, that's I mean last year I can't I can't get a worse year than I had last year. No. At the end not. of the day it's gonna only probably go not. forward now <laughs> after this, you know. There's um it's I, I, and it's easy to lie down, isn't it? Well, man, but you 100%. know, we're all fighters. As fighters, you're not gonna lie down. No, that's. I think the mentality comes comes in the gym. I think, and it comes in in your own hard work and your own sacrifice to make yourself a rough stone if you must. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You have to. You have to stay with it. You have to stay, go with the punches, is what they say, isn't that's it? it? Yeah, I mean, look, is that? It was no different from, let's say, for instance, Katie becoming an Olympic champion. When when I started training, Katie, there was no female boxing. It wasn't even in the Olympics. We've had a, we've had a situation with this. One of my training partners, there was no females in the UFC. Yeah. And we were like, we would have looked at Katie in as as an example and yeah. stuff like that. And 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 I have to say, I admire her for it because she was chasing a dream that it wasn't, it wasn't even wasn't there. there that it wasn't time even there at that time. So you have to break down the barriers. I had to pay for train uh, fights to come over, girls to come over to fight. You. Fund. I used to fund everything, you know, and. Um, to get there and then eventually you know you keep badgering the olympic council and eventually you got it, it was put into the olympics um, we had to go over to um chicago and box in front of the olympic council for it to be passed to say the standard was good enough to go to the olympic games but it was a battle to get there you know no no doubt but I, i'd love to see the day that someday irish well mma in ireland would be like some of the kids that i know that put so much into it like you know what it's like and i I, I don't think anybody ever finishes with the motivation that they started with. I think even anybody that looks back, even me, that kid that was running down the road with that me bag and me gloves in it and me gum shield and hitting like feeling your gum shield clapping <laughs> against your leg and, and your bottle of water and just exciting what we do on a train at the yeah. end. And you go in the club and you take the smell of the of the gym and you, you see your mates there. You always look around for that hard sparring and partner on bollocks. He's it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you can keep that motivation, you'll be champion forever. Well, yeah, and this is it. This you if you mean? can bottle that there, ah. that's yeah. that's the easy part I say. Because even even sometimes when I see like even kids coming into my own classes now, like no, I just it makes me it gives me energy, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean, to see that. Because uh, cause that that's real youth. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think that's the you're not thinking about like the pressure of belts and championships yeah. and all. Well, you are, but they're dreams. That pictures on your, yeah, yeah, pictures right, on your yeah. wall. You come but I think as well, when you start making a few bob in sport, you, you can lose your motivation as well. Silk sheets. Silk, that's, that's that's it. Silk pajamas, is silk it? Pajamas, silk pajamas, isn't it? Silk pajamas, yeah, that's it. It's hard to get out of bed when you have silk sheets, what they say, yeah, isn't it? I've it. never. When they're done, stars finest. <laughs> you know what I mean? Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> and they're fitted as well. Yeah. Look at that shit that's moving around <laughs> in the middle of the night. I'm not aiming for that. And so, obviously, you, you, on the horizon, then you have you have Katie on her way up as as a youth. Now, there's, there's, no, there's no dodging the idea that Katie was... Was probably going to be destined to do great things from the start. From any videos I've ever seen of her, any any photos or footage I've ever seen of her, her attitude, stuff she said, you're like, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I never even even the pros I have now, and I've never seen anybody with that with the same mm -hmm. attitude. 
like unbelievable attitude even now like we what we've been through she's gone over to Connecticut training in the States left everything here living on her own it's hard, hard to get over still out there running the roads and training as if she was 14 years of age like we just said as if it was the first day in the club she still has the same attitude does that that, that that's like that's a more an, uh, admirable it's not the, the word yeah, the, yeah. to be able to like dominate everything and we, obviously we, we go to the gold medal and stuff like that but the, to be able to dominate everything so convincingly and then still have enough juice left to be able to say right i'm going to become pro yeah now, th I'm, I'm probably happier where her as pro now and doing as well as she is because i know what it's like as a fire i know sometimes you can go home and then all of a sudden it's like yeah but i'm broke yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that's a huge sadness thing that nobody ever sees because people say, ah, oh, you're fighting the ring, you're, you're rich, you're sorted. Not everybody is. No. And even guys that have had like high profile stuff, like it's like, remember getting great advice saying, don't act, bro or don't try, don't go broke trying to act rich. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's, that's, I, I always, to me, a tracksuit, pair of runners, that's that's enough. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm sure. fresh with that. But less than one percent of fighters make any money. This is less what I'm saying. 1%. Is that what it is? That less than one percent. Really? Yeah. Boxing. Everyone thinks in boxing, professional boxing, everybody's making money. No. It's bullshit. It's not. It's bullshit. The, the money on ticket uh, money. They're selling tickets to make money. You know. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, even at a high level. But even, You've even, only got like a Tyson, Canelo, all these lads, Sugar Ray Leonard. These lads make money. The rest of the boxers don't make money. You, you gotta have a pull. You've got to have a pull, yeah. Pull. And, that's, and there's people like, I, I, now I know you, I agree with that. You have to have a work. Yeah, like yeah. There's no point coming to the table and being like, oh, well, I'm this and I'm that. Well, how do you transfer that into into cash and into yeah. numbers and into money and into attraction? Yeah, the promoters have to make money as well at the end of the day. Well, listen, I think when you're, especially when you're entering into the program, you're entering into like, like this This is now a business organisation, you know what I mean? Yeah. To me, I love the amateur game, because especially in MMA, because... There's, there's so much love in it. There's, there's so much to give in it. And that, I, I like that. You know what I mean? Like, there's, I, yeah. I give so much to that part of the game. And then when the pro thing comes up, the idea is that, like, that, that it's not that it's fun, but it's kind of, it's more serious. It's it's a little bit more yeah. calculated and more kind of thought out, if you must. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I love the amateur game itself, but it's so political. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You see in the Olympics, the last Olympics in really? Rio, like, every one of them judges was suspended. Now they're all back judging again. How you does know? that work? So, what, what it's so, it's so. It, the cheating, the cheating. That's so, explain that to me. Because fuck it. <laughs> yeah. You might as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, like every judge that was in the in the Rio Olympics got suspended. Every judge. But why are you... Why are you and and these, are all, these are all judges that get paid. They get paid by the so by their world body to be judges. They're meant to be the top judges. Who was creating that? Uh, like, creating it? Like, who was the, the pinnacle for that? Uh, well, when he does it a favour, will you just go out and tell Mark to be and shut the fuck up? Yeah. Yeah, the blue noise of out there. And now it's him. <laughs> <laughs> um, like who, saying, I'd be able to point out if, if there was corruptness in, say, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu yeah. or, or MMA or, like, who was that benefit? Who was the corruptness and benefit? Well, see, if you, if you win a gold medal in the Olympics, okay, the sport will get so much funding. So if you in imagine, your country, in your country, or, right. you, like, if you... We, we came back for the gold medal for with Katie. Sure, every club got funded, you know, and then every, the, the, the you know, every, the, your association gets f big funding, you know. And so they all want it, and it's glory for them. It's glory for the sport, you know. I see it's you, it's prestigious to win an Olympic gold medal. You're, you're always going to be an Olympic champion. You can be an ex world champion, an ex this, but you're always going to be an Olympic Someone champion. Say, yeah, that's, that, that's a great thing about the Olympics. Yeah, it's that's brilliant. like, yeah, it's like, um, it's very, um, Ancient. That's it. Yeah. You know what I mean. It's like a like a title. You know what I mean. Yeah. Rather than like a a title title. Yeah, it is. And it's then, but but it, and now it's it's so corrupt now that it's on the borderline. It might not even be in the next Olympics. They're having a, yeah, they're having a vote on it because Fuck. it's so corrupt. Yeah, it's only no sport that we can stay alone. Money. Yeah. <laughs> money but yeah. sure, look look at wrestling. Wrestling's out of the Olympics. Yeah, and how, and, and how is that? That's, that's one of the first spots. I know. That's ridiculous. Like you know. if you look at like um if you look at like the Olympic stat original statues. It's wrestling, it's yeah. It's yeah. wrestling. It's like. But then they put like some um, nothing against it. But you've got skateboarding. In. Have they? Yeah. Skateboarding's in, yeah. No. Oh, so many so, um, golf's in, tennis in. Olympics should be the pinnacle of your sport. Yeah, I, I definitely think so. And and the thing is, what it does is it makes it makes people grow up. Like it makes people look like. So you have to see this. Like, to me, I have I have two kids now, Seamus and Turning, and like that. 
to have one of my kids and to see them even to have the ambition and the dream to go towards being a gold medalist. Like, when's the, when was the first time you kind of heard Katie saying, I'm, I'm going to be a gold, like, I'm going to win the Olympics? Um, I think she was about 10. And were you like, that's going to be hard because like... There's no boxing like, in there. Yeah. Like, how but do you, how time, do you say that? At then? the time though, she was, a, she was a great athlete. She was a great 100 metres. She played football She played ball for she Ireland played, as well. Do you she know was him? Captain. She played in front with Sharon Cullen. Thresh, yeah, she did, yeah, yeah. Sharon Cullen was my uh, teacher. Yeah, yeah. In school, yeah. Sharon was an animal. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about Cullen before, have we? Miss Cullen. She used to be in PE, man, and like just... I was going to say, I was going to say, abuse you with the football, <laughs> but you'd be like, these days... She just like not make it, yeah. take it apart from the other lads. She was an animal, but Kate was good too, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, Kate was a captain of the Irish team and it's FAI. F and they done well, didn't the, they? Yeah, yeah, flew along. So I knew what, she was going to do something in one spot, mm. well, because she had the same, same attitude in every spot she did. You know, even from a young age. You know, like a nine-year-old running, and she'd be nervous. <laughs> getting ready to race, you know. They won race. Cause she's done yeah. lots of cross country running. She's cross country, Gaelic, Camogie. Yes, she was a man hundred meter sprinting. And was she always that quiet. Always quiet. Yeah. Always quiet. Always quiet. Yeah. And another thing, sorry, I had to ask you is the the religious part. Hmm. So the religious, she's deeply religious. Um, do you know what I admire about? I'm not religious myself, but she talks about the idea of leave, being able to leave thing. And I remember hearing one of my own coaches saying this as well. My own coach saying it is. Um, the idea of they're able to hang their beliefs on that and that's actually very good for point because yeah, they yeah. say, oh, well, it's in a higher power and it's like, yeah, yeah, it's... I'm not under control of that. Like, Well, yeah, that, that was so important, I think, in the Olympic Games in the final because there's so much pressure, pressure on uh, and to have uh, have a faith like that, you know, that um, to, to, to depend on was unbelievable for her, you know. That's what I'm saying. Like, so she's walking out of the dressing room to whores. This is already, this is already wrong and go. Pre, yeah, pre condemned what's going to happen, you know, and then, as well for her, for her, it wasn't the most important. Th it was important for her, but the that wasn't the most important thing in the world. Yes, you know God I mean? is the most. Yeah, important. There's something more important. That is important. Yeah, yeah. The, like, well, and I was yeah. shitting myself before <laughs> the Olympic final. You know, I was like, before the Olympics when we got to the Olympics. Like, jeez, we got there now, and then yeah. before Did you say the, that the big win? Yeah, yeah. I'll say it again. Sorry, you can't hear it on the. But I'll say it. Can you not? No. Well, I'll you can't hear it. It's all right. It's all you. So it says you can just go left and right and yeah. you can put it in, take it out. Yeah. But so, so coming up to the idea of uh, say qualifying for the Olympics. Yeah. So um, and obviously you've got other fighters there. Well. You had Adam Nolan as well, didn't you? Yeah, hey, Adam. Yeah, they was it was a different it was a different qualifying to tournament. That was in Turkey. Oh right, right, right. Uh, Katie's qualifying thing was in China. Were well, you so, never near was putting Katie in against the, the boys? If you most of you say. No. Because she'd always she done was, it. She was butchered them. She always did it from from a child. She did it, you know. I never, I never, I actually never let her spar girls. Did it create a really good um, kind of good awareness for lads as well? Because we find that that does if you have like if you have like but you have really good females and really good males, and then you have females giving it to males, and you have yeah. it creates a great little thing in the room where yes. it's like um, okay, like an overall respect if you must. It does. It does create that respect, and and the lads get used to. To get, like Kate was always used to fighting the lads. The lads were always used to fighting there, so it didn't it didn't make any difference. So anyway, we only ever went to the lads' training camps as well. So we used to go with a men's team to the training camps. So, but when you sparred against lads from a different country, they'd be a little bit disrespectful. Cause so you had to get the respect first. Yeah. So. So you, I mean, I we were all, we were away in Italy and she was sparring some. The CC. The CC. Yeah, yeah. Great yeah, yeah. yeah. space. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I was there twice. You know, yeah. Amazing place, isn't it? Yeah, Delhi is. Absolutely. Now, that's a proper Roman, yeah. proper place to be. Like, there's a, literally a Roman city under nice. the it's this unbelievable, is, this okay. easy, yeah, it's, it's amazing place. for peace. Oh, like, I literally, as I said, I'm not religious or not. Yeah. I went there. Well, the monasteries there and everything and is mate, great. The hills, the, yeah. like, literally, I got a little a little moped and just drove around all the vineyards <laughs> for, like, ages. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, really, it's I'm probably the only job sound person that's been there. To a CC. It's actually a group that yeah. goes out to it. It's a, but it's a great spot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, great CC. spot, yeah. Where did you train there? The Italian... A uh, boxing team train have a uh, headquarters there. Oh, right. There's a big hotel, I can't remember the name of it. It was the back of this big, huge hotel, the, the Italian. Team. And there's a training thing there for it, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's where the Italian team train all the time. That's, and so they, and obviously, did that did that job come before um, Katie on the on the road up, or did that no, come we, with Katie on the way up? We were, we were going to the, um, 
We were going over to a CC. We were training with the lads. With the, we weren't with the men's team. And um, the, there was different countries there, you know. We used to, like I said, we used to always go to the training, men's training camps. We never went to the women's training camps. So we used to throw in with the foreign men. Like these lads would be Olympic champions. And, mm. for, you know, and you have to gain respect first. So the first round, they'd be like grinning at each other because they're sparring a girl. Then she'd get in and she'd be giving it to them. And then and a few times the bell would go and they'd be still at each other after the bell and the lads would be jumping in. You know, we'd get, get, you know, we'd go over the top sometimes, you know, but you had to prove yourself. Yeah, no, definitely. And, um, yeah, and I think that's what that's what brought her on. Because, you, you know, if you... I always, I always think these in, this in all sports and you know yourself from your own sport. But if, if girls only train with girls, they'll only get as good as the best girl. Men are physically stronger. So if you're going to train with a man, you're going to get better. You know, and even if you're playing football, she always played football with the lads. She played with, up to, up to, until she was under 15s with the lads. And the lads are stronger than, stronger than the girls. So then when you start playing with girls, it was nearly like, I'm not being disrespectful, but it was nearly like a step down. So when she fought in the World Championships and everything, after sparring with the lads, Paddy Barnes, Michael Conlon, going away in the training camps, it was a step down to, to fight the girls. It was like, this is easy, I'm fighting girls now. And uh, that's, I think that's why, why why she did so the, well. The gear was always kind of in sixth gear of your most, yeah, and yeah. then like you were kind of going back down. Yeah. Oh no, good, I see that, respect that. That's, um, and when, when it happened, so when you was like going to London and you was like walking out and there's a gold medal on the table, do you know what I mean? And like, hey, man, more young for the trains or like, competes in some local jiu jitsu tournaments, man. I'm not even shitting myself. Yeah. I mean, my hands are sweating. I can't, I can't move. Like, I literally, I do that and rather than I, I just, I want to be in there. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, how, explain that feeling. That's ah. And I won't even say, look, as, I won't even say as, as Katie's dad, I'd say, as a dad going in and cornering one of your, your children in like a high level situation that, that affects the country. Yeah, they, like, I think when she won, when she won the Olympic gold, I, w I wasn't happy. I think I was just relieved. That was over, like, wait. it was over. Yeah. And I was just, oh, we've done it, you know, because if you'd got sil a silver medal, he'd have been let down. He'd have failed. You know, and, he, and the first fight in the Olympic Games was against Natasha Jonas, the English girl in, in London. Yeah, in and London. I, and I said before the Olympics, that's the last girl I want to fight, Southpaw, because she was the most improved. 60 kilo girl at the time and um and it's well in england as well first draw judges everything you're like thinking then you've got the judges as well you know yeah but i think uh, i think they kind of um this is what my girlfriend said last night um the other day so so katie kind of is half english and i was like no no she, she never we were, well, she was off at this we couldn't we gave her some liverpool right? oh, so right. she's trying to say that my youth is half but he's not he's irish yeah 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 it's so, same okay <laughs> He's going to fight for Ireland or do whatever it is for Ireland. But. We were, she was offered the box for England at the time. We were having problems with the uh, association at the time. The Irish is not a hope, she said. Not a hope. Not a hope. Dead, fair play to her. Not Jesus. a hope, she said. Fair play to her. So, and, I, and then after that, obviously, comes the the fame, if you must. You know what I mean? The, yeah. the people know your face. The, like, I, I don't... I never really was into that. You know what I mean? I never really did it for me. I was yeah. always kind of thumbs up to everybody around where they lived so we yeah. kind of always knew people knew me it was like, yeah. but now like even it's, it's like the Truman Show sometimes you're, you're at a desk and somebody's like serving you and then they're like have a great day Paddy and you're like this is fucking weird yeah yeah yeah, yeah. do you get that like obviously yeah, that was that was yeah. starting to happen after because yeah you get that afterwards and I, like obviously in Bray I was everybody knew me in Bray because of doing the doors and everything so and running the you. boxing clubs as well but then going into town then everyone knows you there's it's hard to um, people staring at you. I mean, before when you're on the dodge, people staring at you, be saying, what are you looking at? <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah, yeah what right. are you looking at? Yeah, I mean, you know, we have you some? Yeah. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, you know, yeah, I suppose your attitude has to change as well, doesn't it? It's, it's, it is difficult. It's something you have to, you have to adopt, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. um, it's, it's not easy. And especially, I'd say, Katie being so, so quiet. So quiet, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think, I think you need to be. You need to be trained for it as well. Yeah. You need, they need, they need, they need to be some kind of trained, happen, but it doesn't happen, does it? Doesn't. You just got to learn as you go along, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's the Irish way, you know yeah, yeah. We're rolling down the hill, we'll find our fucking feet. You'll find your feet, that's it, you um, know. And look, it's happened to so many people. Look, it happened to, God, we don't mind me saying it, it happened to Kenny, Kenny when he came yeah, back, yeah, you know no, what I mean? 100%. Look, oh, listen, I've read Kenny's book. I've yeah. read Kenny's book. I know I know oh, probably so. more about Kenny than Kenny thinks I probably do. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? And the other, that's where a lot of my kind of like... like I, 
I, I had to retire too, yeah. I had to do a lot of this stuff. And I think whatever you're going to do with yourself after that is, it's no one's fucking fault. It's yeah. your fault. I, I lost my career as well. And like, I could very easily be sitting in the Jobstown house now drinking points. Yeah. And people would say, actually, like, don't blame him. You know what I mean? But no. Do you know what I mean? So I, 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 I do have a certain amount of like, kind of pity if you must or yeah. kind of like, I remember hearing him saying in his book, he said, kind of said like, well, no one taught us what to do when all when we came back, and no one like kind of gave us like guidance in this mm. and stuff. It's like, but what, what? Be careful what you wish for. Do you yeah. get what I mean? In the idea, well, that's but, true. Even with the Olympic gold, can be careful what you be wish. Be careful for. what you wish for. Yeah, because yeah. you know it's the Irish saying, isn't it? Did you yeah, ever see that yeah. man of honor? He says that to him. What? Careful what you wish for, cookie. Yeah. Uh, What's that Robert from? De Niro says. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. No, the uh, Irish have a saying. Be careful what you wish for, Cookie. <laughs> uh, beware but of what you wish for. If, in all fairness to Kenny, then, then in 2012, he he came and he tried to speak to everybody. If you know, if you're successful, this is what could happen. And you know, he tried to use it for he tried to use it for the benefit of everyone else. You yeah, know, no, deadly, yeah. And no, one has to hear. Listen, we've met the man a few times, and yeah. I think he's all right. How can he sound? He's sound, all right, you know, know what I mean? Made, he's, but I think, I think he's made a few mistakes in the way. But, but we sure all we all have, have, haven't we? We all have, you know what I mean? We wouldn't be standing you know, here we, fucking... We all have, you know. Now, I, I did beat him on the, the Joe.ie uh, puncher's power thing. If did you say, yeah, <laughs> I am the number one puncher at that, just saying. He is a middleweight. I am an he's a light heavyweight. I am a flyweight. He's a light heavyweight. A light heavyweight, is he? Yeah, yeah. And I'm a 57 kilo flyweight, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's all the technique, though, you know what I mean? I'll show you some technique. <laughs> Oh yes. Um so the fame. So you're standing there in Bray as you were saying, like you slept yeah. on that beach and then all of a sudden there's what forty thousand people out there. Yeah. I remember watching that on telly and it was like that'd be deadly. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And we like well you were doing that, yeah. We were still in the factory, still in the yeah. you know what I mean, stage of like we fucking want that. We want that. Yeah. We deserve that. That's we're working as hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, was... I never never in like an envious way. Never like yeah. that. It was never in like yeah. Fucking look what they're getting while we're now. Obviously, MMA is still like the Irish MMA team right now. This because you, you understand what I'll be saying. Other people are like, yeah, so uh, our number two in the world are right ranked. The Irish number MMA two. team right? behind Russia, right? Russia are hundred, right? So after the World Championships, Ireland came back as the second highest ranked clo- uh, country in the world. And do you get funding? No, they, we built all of this. We had to pay for all of this. All of this. Everything goes. No, nothing comes in. This is what it's going to, because when I talk to you about the club in a little bit, that's what we get down the road mm. is because because we get nothing, zero. Yeah, yeah. If I hadn't, we'd probably be back in the 90s when you were trying to set up a yeah, yeah. boxing club. Do you know what I'm saying? I think that makes you hungry though as well. Oh, starving. Yeah, it does. Starving. It makes you hungry. Starving. Do you know what I mean? And look, you, and, and you don't need to be in, when when Katie, when Katie was trained, we were in a shit hole training. Yeah. So shit hole, now the clubs were all done up and everything. But it was never the same. After my club got done up, it was never the same. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. This it was like before. It was like an old Rocky movie. Yeah, this it is... was great, and it was freezing, freezing. You'd be in a hat, shaking. And then when it got done up, we got all the central heating and fancy showers. It was never the same. Club and Lang said it right, didn't he? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 in the basement. Yeah, yeah. That's how they we didn't. Even, we didn't have a Jackson. That's in that, and, that, and we, we we produced two two Olympians, Adam and, and Katie, out out of, the, out of that shed. We're not even a toilet there. It's only that some put it here. You used to go down to the pub to go to the toilet and then. I think sometimes that there's. <laughs> Jay's lucky it wasn't me trying in that club. <laughs> <laughs> Passed him <laughs> back into the club. Not what he was. But, like, that. There's something in that. You know what there I mean? Is, there there's is. something in, 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 in the blue. When I tried to create this place and create. Because. Like, MMA is, I think, is still very in its infancy and it's it's still grown, you know what I mean? The MMA way. needs to get into the likes of the Olympics. I think that's that that will happen eventually. It will happen because yeah. it's it will happen because the Olympics now it's all about it's media driven. It's all about who watches it now. If they get good figures watching it on the T V, that's all Olympics is now. Sure, I think if we could, even for Olympic athletes and stuff like that is if you're getting paid off the sports council and stuff like that, it's worth your while. Yeah, you know yes. I mean, it is worth your while. But it, it is a lot of a, I won't say a scam, but like people train their whole life to get to the Olympics and then they don't make it and then literally they get they have to go get a job in Tesco or something. Like, yeah, because you've, you, you, you've, like say you're on the, an high performance team and you're getting funded. But sure, you're training twice a day. So you can't, have, you can't learn a trade. 
No. So they take the best years of your this life. This is what I'm saying. The best years of your life. And then when you're finished, or you get beaten in the Irish Championships, yeah. someone else takes your place and it's like, fuck off. And, and it could be, <laughs> it could be a, a political thing that cool. all of a sudden, you know, he says, yeah. like, he's gone and that person's not yeah. gone because they're not back this yeah, much. No, yeah, and, yeah. Oh, but the, this... It's that coach, that he's trained by him. He's, his coach is a higher profile. And that's, that's the way it works. It's reality, isn't it? Adam Nolan won five Irish titles before he was selected for an international, before he was selected to go to a, to the to the Olympic qualifiers. And he went, they tried everybody before him. Then eventually they sent him and he, and he qualified for the Olympics in his first tournament. Yeah, probably but, good for him as well though, because he got like the... Because he needed, he, you know, he, he, like, he, he do he have one chance at this and that's it, you he know. He was ready, ready yeah. as well, I'd say. But if he it. hadn't, if somebody else had qualified before him, he was gone. He wouldn't yeah. have been there, you know. And, 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 that, and that's it, he, he, his name would have been like I won't say lost in the history, but yeah, wouldn't have lost. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he wouldn't, wouldn't be an Olympian. No, see, and that's you have to. I think you have to think about. You have to think about that. If you're gonna put so much time into something, so much effort into something, what's the get out plan? What's the other? Because it's very easy to put youthfulness and put people on onto a treadmill, and just kind of like keep huffing that up with like yeah, and then this, and then that. Like that has to be. What do you want to do? What what kind of plan have you got with this? You know, like um. If you think of all the people that you've probably trained or trained around or weird and stuff like that, it's like Katie has done what Connor done in air sports. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There was there was a few of us, there was a lot of us, but there was no real like Connor. You know what yeah. I mean? There was nobody that transcended and then and that broke through so many barriers. And like that's like an arrow. She's just yeah. keep going and going and going and going. How many people are doing MMA and how many people have made money out of it? This is what I'm saying. Sure. Like, I think yeah. there's a handful of us. Yeah. Just, I think less than one percent is like what we said earlier. Yeah. On. Less than one percent, and yeah. th the people don't see that part. But, but a huge part for me is. Is, is the training that involves and it kind of like same thing as boxing back in the day and, and boxing still you know what I mean it's 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 very good for you yeah. mentally yeah. all yeah. of their idea all of that benefits of it outweigh the idea of trying to be like some people are like well if I'm not going to be like an Olympic gold medalist I'm not even going to try I don't give a fuck and it's like yeah. Yeah. just sometimes you train and, and, and one step leads to the next yeah, step yeah. you know what I mean but the two sports MMA and boxing you don't play these sports. No. <laughs> you play football. You play tennis. You play. Yeah. You don't play these sports. You go in and train, and every day can be painful. Even if you, even if you're the best in the club or the best, it still can be painful. Hundred percent. And, and on that, I want to ask you. So, when it comes to that, what's what's your kind of opinion on 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 drugs, on PEDs, and like the only reason I'm asking you is because you, I don't know if you've noticed over the last week, but John Jones, uh, um, an MMA fighter, fought, probably the, one of the up the top end of the, you know what I mean, thing now, as coming off a ban, had failed like eight tests or something like that. Now, failed a test the other day, but it turns out that it was only something that was left after a steroid that would have been there mm -hmm. for two years ago. So technically didn't, but like, all right, all right, hold on, let's rip it all apart. And Look at Canelo. Canelo. The, Canelo with the, the... Meat. The meat. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what's, your, what's your opinion on that? It could have um, punched people in the head here. We're not like kicking a ball around, as you said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, um, well, in, prof in amateur boxing, in amateur boxing, they tested all the time. WADA tested them all the time. Well, You've yeah, got to do your whereabouts yeah, or anything. Yeah. You saw it. Much, much, mo much more strict than the professional end of it. Professional yes, boxing, really. there's no testing. Is there no? Very little. Like, none of my lads have been tested. I five lads, none of them ever been tested. Fuck me, and drug here, and and and, and no. the idea of cheating with PEDs and drugs now is it's two thousand times better than what it was in nineteen ninety. Yeah. Now over the last little week, just from watching all the Facebook experts, you know what I mean? Like there's 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 so many different kind of levels of it and ways and 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 types of yeah. of juicing and stuff like that. Like, sure, like, look at the heavyweight boxers. Like, look if you look at them. You know, you probably can't name names, but if you look at him in the Olympics, say in 2012, this is no shame. No, you can. You can say what you want. You know, you see him. In <laughs> you see the size of him in 2012. Now you see him as world champions now, and they put on four stone of muscle. How that's can hard. you do that? That's hard. You can't put four stone no, of muscle. Can. on. No, that's Bodybuilders like... struggle doing that. Yeah. And then you're doing a sport as your cardio, you're burning muscle all the time. Yeah, it's, it's hard to put on muscle like that, especially in like such an anaerobic uh, sport. It's, it's, yeah, you know, let's, let's, you know, let's So, do you think honest. that they just like, like? Do you think that even the Olympics, even all of this stuff, everyone's just overlooks it now? I think it depends who you are. Oh, right. If you are Usain Bolt, okay, they don't want to. They're, I'm not saying Usain Bolt no, does no, drugs, no, but no, I'm no, saying no. they don't want to do him for drugs. 
because it's too high. It's too high. It's, it ruins athletes. It ruins, it ruins run, sprinting. So they're not going to do it. I mean, look at the time Ben Johnson was done. Everybody in that field got done eventually for, for, for drugs. In that, like, cause in, touching on that, the, the Lance Armstrong thing as well, because obviously that's yeah. a big, high-profile thing. Like, I was only, I ended up watching the Joe Logan podcast again with him on it, like, yeah. and he was saying, like, 1 to 18 in the Tour de France, all failed. Yeah. And a guy that was number 18 to Louis, give a big props to him, man. He, he is a noble motherfucker. He yeah. is, you know what I mean? All of these 18 lads, like, what, sorry, he was not, the best, he's the best. The number 19 is actually the best. 19 is actually the best, like, yeah, yeah. And the reason why he said, like, well, it wasn't my fault to do drugs, I just had to do better drugs than all of them because yeah. they were all doing drugs. We were all doing drugs, so it was grand. Mm. And like, I think, I don't know, but like, when USADA came into to MMA, into UFC, it was like, um, like, and I can, I can honestly say. Never in my life. I wouldn't even know where to go. Yeah. The idea with doing drugs or PEDs. But do you, do you like think? Do you we think? We performances tell as well. Yeah. I wasn't doing PEDs at yeah. sometimes. You know what I mean? I don't. I, I don't know how, how much benefit it is. I, I think it's more benefit. Steroids would be more beneficial in in MMA because it's you, it's a lot of strength. You know, wrestling and everything. But I don't know how benefit beneficial it is in boxing unless you're a heavyweight. No, but see, I think people only think of steroid being um, as a power pee, you know what yeah, I mean? Power yeah. and power transferring. Yeah, I don't like, know enough about steroids. Yeah, well, yeah. I think, yeah, well, think about it, this. Imagine you could train eight times a day. Yeah, well, that's it, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Imagine you could run and do a sprint. Yeah, recovering and then, better. And you're then recovering. do sprints yeah, tomorrow yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. And like, if that, that's the big part. Yeah. Of it. It's the idea of the recovery, of recovery, how fast yeah, people yeah. recover. Yeah, yeah. And then when you get injured, stuff like that. And it's grand to just lob something into your knee yeah. now. And, and, and now you can I'm go saying, again. Yeah, well, if I'm in my camp and I'm fucking limping through it and I'm sore and I'm doing ice bats and I'm getting body rubs and all yeah. to try and make myself feel all right that I can train again. Yeah. Where people are like, yeah, but it doesn't make me feel better. Well, it kind of does because it makes you be able to train as much as possible. Yeah. Now, my, my biggest point on a lot is, like, as you said, we're punching people in the head here. Mm. It, why, why did John Jones have a trace of fucking anything in his system? Yeah, you know, he shouldn't have anything in his they're system. They're saying it's because of partying. You know what I mean? They're saying obviously that chopping, bleeding, white with thing or whatever. And it, it, it's it, recreational. Yeah, obviously. recreational drug. But like, like, whatever. It, it should be. I think it's, it's like if that happens. I think if you get caught with drugs in in sports and it's PEDs and stuff like that. It, you should be. You should be very banned for life. You know what I mean? Or, 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 I think it should be banned for life but, because once you're banned, then you carry on training. And then you don't get tested. Then when you come back into the spa, then you've been tra training all them times and you're still the same. You still have the benefit of you it. You still have the benefit of it. So you said it as well just before we kind of went off on there is it, it changed after the club, after the gold, after yeah. the thing. A, a wise man once told me, fame doesn't change people, it reveals them. And we am quite proud that it's never ever revealed anything in me that I didn't like or didn't think I was or who I was. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you believe that's a good, that's a true saying? True saying, yeah. It can that reveal people yeah, rather yeah, than yeah, changing yeah. them. People yeah, think yeah. they change, but they don't. It was always there. It was always just there, ready yeah, to yeah. come yeah, out. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, definitely. So definitely. when you're at the landing and obviously you've got the sports council probably ringing you every day, you know what I mean? They they want to invest into obviously how much did they invest into the club? Um, it was three hundred and fifty thousand. That's major money for the club, major isn't it? The so club, yeah, yeah. Build, that had to be an exciting time. That had to be run, like. We're gonna give you three hundred grand to build the club. Yeah, it was all all the design was done by the councillor. You know when it was being built, Paddy. I never once went down and had a look at it. Was it more embarrassing for them? Um, do you think the OABA and stuff like that that they didn't want cameras running down to a club that had like? No, it wasn't embarrassing to you. It was more embarrassing to the government. This is what I mean. Yeah, to That's the what government. I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. Do you think it was more of like? And then the Kenny came out when the club was a shed, and I said, "Look at the state of this place we're training." You should, you should have. But it was mad. Like, what? Look at the state of it. It was actually great. Do you know, yeah. now I think it's, it, there was nothing wrong with it. Yeah, you and got then, in involved. That's what happened. Yeah, you got the government involved. And then, Pete. then, then, <laughs> then they came. They said, "Okay, we'll we, we'll fund it," and it, it was funded. Then because they didn't want people coming down there with cameras. No, to the they were embarrassing. Like, yeah, of course. Listen, you know, we, it looked like we were a third world country. Yeah, you know, Olympic gold medalist, two Olympians at the time, training in a shed. But like you said, it was probably the best training facility. Going, you know, so you had everything, had everything there, except for a toilet. But, but we had everything there, except you know? for a toilet. So they, they, uh, then, obviously, obviously, the relationship breaks down between you and Kate. Yeah. So that has, to, like, that has to be a hard thing. Like I'm, as a father, I can't even understand. Without without gold medals, without Olympics, without all of this, just literally, I couldn't 
we could do one. I, I don't think we could fall out when we were over this. Do you know what I mean? Well, now, I didn't think I could. Like, I, I'm not five, not falling out, but I like, you know. Because yeah, like, you've been over it in, um, you've been over it as a maths teacher as well, don't you? He's a lecturer. A lecturer, a lecturer in, in Trinity. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the yeah, brains yeah. are coming out. Yeah. <laughs> it, you're definitely producing the, yeah. the genes. But um, yeah. But like things, these things happen, you know. And um, we were, suppose me and Kay were best friends. We went everywhere together, but um, I think the circumstances happen in life, and you know what can you, what can you do? You know. Do you feel that that the the idea of the fame and stuff like that and everything happening and and pressure coming down? And I don't think it was fame. I just think I think everything when when you when you're married, I think all all this attention affects everybody. Just yeah, of course. Yeah, it affects everyone and. Next thing you move, we lived in a council house. You moved out of the council house to this posh. Oh, you should have stayed in the council should house. should have stayed in the council house. The council I always wanted to stay in the council I'm house. I'm insane and out. But you know, and then you've got all your, you know, it's it's different. Everything is, everything changes. Nobody can say. I don't think anyone can say it doesn't affect them. It affects, it affects everybody. Do you everybody. feel that everybody in the family, sorry for cutting your first year, because I'm trying to get the idea of like, because the whole nation, the whole mm. nation, there's no doubt like, like Kate is a huge figure mm. in, the, 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 in the nation. As like, as as that that iconic figure, mm. you know what I mean? Like mm. that a lot of people look up to it and stuff yeah. like that. So like, the, and then, but now now it's the other side of the story as well, yeah, yeah, which is yeah. I think is is an important thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, the breakdown happens. I think when the family affects everybody in the affects family. Everyone. Everybody's looking in different directions. Everyone's starting to think like it's exciting times. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? What happens as well? What makes it big as well is that because you you're so you're so well known. If it, I mean, must must have been the biggest story ever. You manage breaks up. Um, you know, I, I I start seeing someone else, and like it's private. It should stay private, but uh, but the papers make a big thing of it. And if the papers didn't make a big thing of it, it the papers affect you, affected my relationship with Katie because they make big stories out. They make stories out of nothing. Mm. So you know what I mean? You get you walking down Grafton Street, you get pictures if you take, and and uh, it's mad. Like you know what I mean? It just to just make a big story out of everything. You but know? do you feel there's a power there, like where you you're giving them power there by away, like by 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 not owning the whole situation? Do you get what I mean? Like the papers are not like we know. Yeah. Like, like, I, I just like, I just go. I my my attitude was my private life's my private life. It's I, knowing I, a door. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know. It's, yeah. You know, I probably did. I it's probably, back to the be careful you know, what you wish for thing. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. I think there's no success without the splash. Mm. Unfortunately. I think. I think well, Kate, he, I think Kate is addressed it now with a, with a with a documentary that came out. Well, yeah, you know, and, and as I said, a lot of the stuff that goes through passes through. I'm not one of these guys that goes and starts trying to look at it. And like, mm. it usually, if it's in the newspaper and something getting said, and it's probably a little bit negative or something, I probably stay I stay away from it a little yeah, bit because yeah. I'm probably sure that's yeah. probably bullshit. Yeah. And there's a lot more to the story. Well, than, did you see Kate's documentary? No, I haven't seen. Well, it if yet. you see, like I think it's Kate addressing the documentary on an. Um, She's called Kate, you know. She's called Kate, you know. She done, she done, she done, a, she done a great job. But um, yeah, look, look, it, it does it affects everything. It affects it affects relationships when you, you know, you get that much. I suppose you get known everywhere. It, it does affect relationships. But, it's, it's, and I don't, but you get pulled. I from, don't you, think I don't you get pulled think, from pillar to post, Pete. And that's just being, I, I, don't I, you? I don't, even if I think I'd be, I'd have been where I was without, without, without. That fame and I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. You can't answer That's that. That's actually real. a good question, there. Do you think where you'd be exactly where you are now without the fame and without the blow up and without? Yeah, you know, I think I would be. Like you know, I don't. I don't think. I don't think the fame. I don't think people knowing who I was made any difference. Difference to it, you know. What but I mean? do you not feel that like as a person, like when people are pulling you from like you're getting attention from all mm. different sorts of like from 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 media mm. from from all, from yeah. all sorts, you know, like like. I um, I, I don't like I, as I said I don't want to sit here like an interviewer with you yeah. an interviewer but I want to sit here with somebody that probably understands a little yeah. bit of what you are going through yeah I tried I tried to kind of stay away it's fucking mental isn't it oh, mental. I, tried to, <laughs> I stayed mental. away I stayed away I tried to stay stay out, away from the media you know and I, and, I, and I always kept the media away from Katie so I, I actually I actually had a bad relationship with the media because they'd, they'd be ringing me saying can Katie do an interview I said no she's training can Katie no she's training so I was always that buffer. So I had to end up having a bad relationship with the media, really, because I was also, well, no, she's not doing this. No, she's not doing this. Because we had, we've training. Or we've been in school. We've finished now. We're, we're training. So I always had a bad relationship with the media, you know, because I didn't, probably I didn't succumb to them. And then, 
and I, and I nearly think the media had it in for me even okay. what happened with the shoe and I mean I must have been on the front page you're on a list or something yeah front page of the papers about bleeding 20 times P. Taylor fleeing for his life I flew, I flee nowhere but you know you what I mean to stay, you have to stand now you still stand obviously she's your daughter incredibly mm. proud of her ah like, like yeah when, when she's in there swinging now are you still swinging Ah, I, t I actually, it's more difficult now because I don't have control. I don't have control of what's happening. And um, if anything, I'd be, I'd be, so it sounds bad, I'd be critical of what's happening, you know. Well, yeah, of, oh, well, of course. She'll course, be doing yeah. this, she'll be doing that. And um, yeah, it's di more difficult, like, you know, and it's more not, difficult because you're not control. I'm not controlling nothing from the corner. Yeah. You you're, not, you're not inputting into you're not it. Inputting and, and this is as he said oh, this is she had a fight there before Christmas then six weeks later she had another fight I'm saying she having another fight for six weeks later it's crazy do like you reckon that she just she's kind of staying busy 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 and then she's gonna and like, like that's it I'm done um, I'm just hope, I just hope you know the professional game promoters managers yeah, cash cow, aren't you? Let's be honest. Yeah, no, hundred percent. But I think. And and you've got and I think as a fighter, as a fighter, you never know when you, when you're finished. You never know when your time. No, because what, what? You always want. You always think there's another fight. What you gets you in the, the gym? Best, keeps yeah. you in there, is what you say. You always think the best is to come. Yeah, the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. And it's you, you've you, some. You, you can't be surrounded by yes men. Sometimes somebody's got to say you've got to finish now. And they might not take it like you want it, but you've got to be a time when someone says you've got to finish now. And um, well, but even then, like, do you not think like sometimes the people that are telling you they're finished, maybe they're finished as well? Like, it's it's so it's such a crazy game. Yeah, you know but I, I mean? think I I don't it, know because it's very hard to trust that as well. You know, yeah, like, to trust the but I think the person outside always knows if if a coach has been with you a long time. You know, you whoever whoever when you coach, he knows he know he can see the. The development, the development, they can and see and you the go on the way right. the decline as well. Yeah, right. I, I think you know what I mean. And um, now, don't get me. I don't. I think. I think this. This. Kate's with, only getting better though, isn't you? I think. Yeah, like I think I don't. I, I don't think the standard of women's boxing is is half as strong as the standard of amateur boxing. Right. You know, you go away in professional boxing, you can pick and choose who you fight. Right. In amateur boxing, you can't. You're a world champion. You yeah. go away to a, a world championship. You're fighting the best in every country. You but know, have he's like, a champion. But he's he's guys a champion. Like, think of Lomachenko that like yeah. literally popping out the amateurs and like. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, up there and. Um, Wait, if you're going from amateur, and, and women, women's professional boxing conference. haven't got the background, haven't got the amateur background of what men have. You know what I mean? But um, I mean, like, she's had no problem in the. In the Professionals, yeah, no difficulty at all. Which we think, which is a good, which which means the guidance and the yeah. the, the management must be good there. For yeah, them, but you just you just hope that they, when the time is right, because I don't obviously I don't see Katie training now. I don't know. So that do you do you stay in contact? Just commute, no contact. No, we still we still talk to each other, but I don't. I tend I tend not not. To stay in the fighter role a little. Yeah, I don't talk about boxing. Like I don't oh. don't talk about my own boxes. I don't. You don't want to talk about boxing because if I start talking about boxing, then I start getting critical and do yeah, you know that I way. Know, you, I know. <laughs> yeah, and then it's know, like, like yeah, you should have fainted a little bit more in that last fight. I mean, yeah. you should have done this or like, should have stopped that girl. Or they'd always, you know, there's why didn't you do this? And and then you, but you don't know what's gone through the training camp. You don't know what's been in the background of the training camp. You don't know if there's been injuries there. You, you, yeah. No, you never know. No, you just don't know. It's like, and it's good to hear that. It's good to hear that he's, you're still communicating. Yeah, yeah, and that you still know. Go. And she's kind of like. like You've done the amateur career, done it the goal and that, and then it's like, like well, she's kind of onto her second stage yeah. of like what she's doing now. And, and I don't think she'd have gone pro if I'd have been still there. No, she wouldn't have gone pro. Would you have? What would your advice been on that? Well, I don't know if you'd like. I mean, I don't. I don't think she'd have won. I don't think. I don't know if you'd have won another gold medal in Rio. If I wasn't, I wasn't. The last major title she won was when I was there. And then, I don't know if she'd have gone on. And, even if I was there, she should have won a, a Olympics, another Olympics in Rio. Because obviously after because you, when you left, so she bad. lost after when you left Saucy and stuff European like that. World, which is yeah. like, to me, yeah. as a, as a dad, so like as a coach, say, you'd probably be looking in, I won't, I won't say this in a bad way, but you'd be looking in in a way of like, 
it's because I wasn't there. But then as a dad, you're looking in, it's your daughter. Uh, yeah, it's big. it was, but it just shows, Kay thought, you know, I'd, I'd gone, like we'd broke up and she, she, she had, she's good morals, like in the end, she says, well, if, if if you split up it, you split up with my mother, then I don't want you in my corner. So she knew that we what what the she knew what the um, outcome would be. I, th I think she knew that she'd be missing me in the corner, but she still had the morals to go still go ahead and do that. You have to respect that, don't you? You've got to respect that. You've got to respect that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So well, she she was red. She was red good. Like because she still have to. There's not many people that. At risk losing and a European in Worlds in the Olympic title because by by not having a coat, we're back in our man, yeah. She's gonna back that man, yeah. She's back yeah. to man, you know. So you got and then and I suppose like she you risk your career, which she, she did do, but she still did it. So you've got to, you've got to, you've got to admire that as well. No, Although it's, it's it's hurtful for me, but you still got to, I've still. I've got, still got to take my hat off to it, you know what I mean? Well, what, uh, obviously, I will leave it at this way, the, the K thing, and I don't want to be stressing you about it, but do you, I, I think, I think a, lot, a few people would like to know, do you know what I mean, that idea of like the, that, that you, still, you still have the communication, yeah, still, still have talk, the connection. Yeah, we and still that, talk, yeah. That, that's, that, that, that's important. Yeah, it's you know important, I mean? you know, like, well, look, I mean, six months ago, she might never have been able to speak to me, I could have been, I could have been dead at the end of the day, you yeah, know what right? I mean, so, and no, that yeah. that does bring a full circle, doesn't it? In a yeah. mad little thing of like where life is fucking short, man. Sure, you don't know what's gonna happen from one day to the next. Did, did you feel yeah. like you had um so when when the boxing club and all went down, so mm. but we'll say when when it went down when 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 Katie, you and Katie split, the boxing club had been built, the bright thing, they mm. they gave you investment within like and that, and that was an incredible facility. What a facility for, for them to put in there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Now when did did Kay go left and what happened there? You know what I mean? Did you do you keep the boxing club? Did did yeah, stay on with you? I've, I've still the club. Yeah, did, did the team, but the team as well. Like so, obviously there's a group. There's always that the pinnacle group. Yeah, Kay, all the all the groups like, stayed there training. Come up, so so was it Kay that left or just Kay? Just Kay, yeah. And, and but it had to be even hard on the other lads as well, was it? Yeah, it was hard on the other lads, and but we 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 we, we had a huge club as well, you know, and. um um, Adam Adam Nolan retired as well. Okay. You know, so uh, the next week two Olympians have gone out of the club. So this you're nearly, yeah. nearly starting, starting from again, yeah. starting again. You know, he's trying to develop people again. <coughs> What's he doing now? Adam was a guard. He's a guard? He's a guard, yeah, yeah. He was a guard all the way through, yeah. Jesus, it's not going to pay that much, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry so, about that. <laughs> well. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you got to, but that's, that's a, it's a cycle, isn't it? Boxing, every sport's a cycle. You know, you, you you lads reach a pinnacle, then all girls, and then you've got to rebuild again, rebuild again, and all the time it's rebuilding, rebuilding. I seen the Daily Post the other day. I, kind of, I didn't got my phone with me, but it was great. It was like what a jiu-jitsu coach is. It's like you, they come in, you give them everything. You like it's it's some uh, jiu-jitsu coach with a little person, and he's like giving them all his love and stuff like that. And he's like, you teach them everything, you teach them discipline, you teach them this, you watch them mature, <laughs> only to watch them live. Yeah, but you're a jiu-jitsu coach, and that's your job. Yeah, but that's oh, boxing. Okay, boxing. That's boxing. Boxing well. is the same. Because what, what we actually did was there's a big up thing of it. And I think that, I don't know whether, uh, I think as a coach, and I figured this out where, like, I don't really, I don't search for glory through any of the guys mm. that, like, I'm just happy for them. I'm yeah. happy that they're doing what they're doing. I have mine. That's what I'm looking yeah. for. You know what I mean? We have, this way I say it. So, when these guys, some, some coaches, I don't know, but can go for the idea of, like, they live through people. And that, they live the dream through them. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's not good. It's not good nah. for 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 fires because yeah, yeah. They, they, it's like it's like having a cool head on the sideline if you must. Like if you're focused on on the winning and and, and the, the the medals and, and we gotta it's gotta look well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, then all of a sudden you take your eye off the calmness of the guy that's standing on the sideline. I think all the fighters should be the ones that are ambitious and yeah, I want this yeah, and yeah. and then you've got a cool head, kind of. Stored in that pot, yeah, you, mean, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. I think I think that's very important for for the garden going through the top because it takes it doesn't take a year or two. It takes you got ah, yeah. it takes six seven years. You know yeah, what I mean well, to be developing. I think I think that way even that what you just said though, even the Olympic final it happened as well. Like, Kay was down after the second round, she was a point down. The whole of Ireland was like, <sighs> oh, yeah, and I remember <sighs> I was, I remember getting into the ring. I was. Just keep doing what you're doing. 
it's going to come, it's going to come. Everyone was panicking it and you could feel the atmosphere. But you yeah. just, you got to have that cool head as well as, as a coach. Yeah, 100%. you got to have that yeah. cool head. If that's how we've learned our coach in the last 10 years. There's that's... too many brave coaches as well where the, the, the fight is getting battered and they don't throw the towel in. Uh, the, the, you know, they don't stop the fight. you got to, you know, there's a lot of brave coaches out there. I think that comes from not getting battered enough as a coach. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, I, I always think a referee should, for boxing, a referee should never stop the fight. You should be the one stopping the fight before the referee. With it, with, 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 with well, boxing. You're, you're probably more experienced you're as well. You know, what, you know what he can take, you know what he can do, you know what, you know if he's out of his depth or she's out of his depth. So you throw the towel in The referee should never stop the fight. Don't, don't. Don't quote me on this, bro. I'm pretty. I don't think you're allowed to throw the towel in an MMA. Are you not? No, I don't think the referee has to stop it. You know I mean? don't yeah, quote well, me that's that. that's different than them. But in boxing, you control the towel. Yeah, no, yeah. And that's, um, that, and that's a that, that's an old skill. Like you'd see yeah, that. Yeah, like. I don't. I've never. I don't think I've ever had a fight to stop by the referee. Who's your favorite boxer back from the time of time? Marvin Hagler. Oh, great choice. Yeah, yeah Hagler. probably Robert Duran. Duran, yeah, Hagler and Duran fought as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking Duran was. Tyson amazing. was unbelievable. I seen a clip well. the other day. Duran knocked somebody out, and the guy was out cold for eighty minutes. Oh. Do you remember about that? No. Yeah, he, yeah, and he couldn't move really for a month or something. But his legs weren't yeah. moving and stuff I like that. He was an animal. Duran that's was, it, isn't it? Yeah. What you want? That's you want to be that guy. You want to be the guy that when people talk about you as years go on. Your legacy gets bigger. bigger, and bigger. You get bigger. And bigger. <laughs> Robert Duran once knocked the man out for 160 minutes. Yeah. That's what it'll be in a few more years. That's, that's how it goes. That's, that's like Brace Ephron if you have a ham wrestle down there. By the time it gets up to the top of the town, it was war. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> be an arm wrestling in the, in the pub. You'd have an arm wrestle in my Pure time. serious question, though. How many times have you climbed for a head? <laughs> Oh, how many times? <laughs> Twice, maybe. Probably. Nah, no, no, I used to run Brayhead. That's what I said. You wouldn't run that. Yeah, I used yeah. to run it. Because if you had that there, you, you would. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd drive people out to run the fucking yeah. thing. If I was on my doorstep, you should definitely be running. Yeah, you'd run it. We so used to run it. then, as I said, coming into the end of the year, so as I said, if it, it can be very hard for, and, and the media can kind of can, can hijack your legacy in a few newspapers. And yeah. we, we had a little conversation about this at, at the start of this, but I'll leave this to you. You know what I mean? This is the. If I Googled your name, I, I can't, you know what I mean? It's it, it's not fair, I think. It, it, would that be the word to yeah. you as that? That it can just change like that? Yeah, the media are allowed to themselves. I can't, I can't really say say much about what the the thing because there's a, there's a criminal thing going on at the moment. But the... the what was it? About, the, the ins and outs, I don't yeah. even want to know yeah, about that, to but be honest. The media... So the, the, the media... Um, the human the right, feelings the right that's going what on during all of this situation. That's what I kind of want to get to. You know what I mean? Say that again, the human feelings that were yeah, going yeah. on during all of this situation. Like. Yeah, well, you, you know, at the time, I mean, what happened was somebody, some night comes into your, your, your some night comes so into your club. explain the story. Explain the story. Yeah, we were training one morning, half six one morning. We always did a seven o'clock session. I got there at half six. So we just started a session, quarter seven. Some good man comes in, starts shooting around the club. I had me back to it all at the time. I was plugging in music for the for the training session. I turned around and seen the gun man. So he, you said that you thought it was um, an air compressor. I thought it was an air saying? compressor going off because we have a few Kaiser machines there. And I was going to actually turn around to give out to everybody something to turn off the... Well, it's um, not a bang, it's a crack, isn't it? Crack, yeah. yeah. And so I turned around and there's a lad shooting away. And then I thought it was a joke uh, at first. I thought somebody was playing a joke on us, you know. And... Um, and everyone started screaming and then obviously you realise it's fucking not a joke. So, you know, it's mad how your mind thinks in such, you know, Slow. split, split sec seconds and uh, then I was looking for something to throw. And your man, then then I run him, there's nothing around. I mean, in the gym, there's oh, 20 kilo, 20 kilo plates around me. You can't throw them very far, fuck you know. <laughs> ah, <laughs> unless, I'm, unless I'm on the PEDs, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> can't throw yeah, the... the so, John Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're looking around for, and then can't do it and then there was two girls beside me one girl's only 15 just screaming as well and chats are going around 15 the in the middle to be in the, the middle girls. of that fuck so what do you do like it's your gym you, you're, you know somebody comes in your gym you protect you want to protect everyone don't you and they fight or flight at this stage you know it's your instinct so I just I ran across the, the gym a your man and then dived on him as I dived on me he shot me if I'd have stayed where I was I, wouldn't, I don't think I would have got shot that was the eight, eighth bullet got me. He'd shot eight bullets. I was the eighth bullet that got me, you know. And um, 
then obviously he ran, then he got a fright. I think I don't think I don't think he expected somebody running at him. You know what I mean? No. And then he ran then and then and obviously the guards came down and then next minute you get So w- when you got here, mm. did you did you know you got here? Was it was a little getting bit? Oh, I was, well my arm broke, so straight away my my arm was twisted on the ground. He spun spun me three sixty in the air. Right, that's what I was diving me. through the air at the time when he hit me when he got me, I know I was diving at him. Um, I ran across the gym, I was diving at him when he got me, and then the bullet went through my arm into my chest, came out, missed me heart by I think it was three mil, just came out to send on my chest. It came out to send your chest. Yeah, so you had um so you kinda you had an an, an entry and an next one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did they did it go up into your arm and uh, into your shoulder joint or into your side again? It came in through me through my arm, around my chest, around my rib cage. Well, so you had yeah. so you had did you, did you have an entry, an exit, an entry and, and an exit? Right. Yeah, yeah. So you had four holes. Four holes, yeah. Yeah, because that that's kind of the same thing I was saying to you before is that the, the two pack. Yeah. You yeah. got hit in the hip. And it, it travelled up and hit him, and, and hit him in his lung. Man. And it's, but the, but yeah. the entry wound, there's no bullet shot at the wound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've kind of, you probably thought you got shot four times, didn't you? Well, I didn't know. I could feel I was burning in my chest, to tell you the truth. And I, then I was looking at my arm, and like my arm didn't look like it was my own arm because you just had no feeling in it. Yeah, right. I was on my back now at this stage, and then um, everybody was screaming and hiding at this and stage. The, the guy you bailed this one. He yeah? bailed, he ran down the steps and got out of the place, you know, and then. Then you were things that one of my friends, one of my best friends, got killed in it. In it, you know that all these stories, the media stories that he opened me, Bobby got killed. He opened the door, got shot when he opened the door. Your man walked in the door. We were upstairs training. Then he came in. I was the, I was the intended target to murder. And the um, it was a personal grudge. I'd had a vendetta with a this Clondalkin guy. I had a vendetta with drug dealers in Bray. And it's 20 different stories about me. And uh, now we find out it was nothing to do with me at all. <laughs> yeah, but you've got all the media making all these stories up, you know. So people reading this thing, what was he involved in? Why is Pete Taylor involved in? So all Pete Taylor was involved in was running a boxing club at the end of the day, you know. <coughs> it, it, the thing is, though, because we, we said this and we said, we're all victims of this as well. We're victims of, like, well, it's like we're brainwashed by the telly, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like propaganda. Um, yeah, it's like if something happens, it's like, ah, oh, well, like that was coming. Do you got what I mean? In a way. Yeah. So, like, like if you hear that, like, Paddy Hulahan got shot, you would say, automatically. Fuck ah, what it. was he doing? Fuck, he's into something. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's how I am. It's just, unfortunately, yeah. that's how I'm wired. Yeah. Pete Taylor's going out with a young girl now and he drives a white Mustang. Must be involved in something. He must be doing this. must be selling drugs. And that's what people start thinking. And then, and all of a sudden, from. You know, some you're training everybody in a club, up early in the morning. Every morning you're training, opening up, opening up club. You're training young lads. You're training kids. Don't get as a, as you know as a coach. Well, especially in amateur boxing, you don't get paid for training kids. Mm. Or, or running an amateur club, you no money in it. You know, people pay the subs, and that subs covers your rent. But um, you know, you you go in and you're trying to save everybody else in the club by running and jumping on a on a goal man. And it takes a bit of bollocks to do that as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, then you get slaughtered for it. Mm. Do, do, you, do you reckon the thing is, you were saying that that little vendetta that was there already? It was there, you now, know. Obviously, it's not a normal situation, P, and you at you like, it's like, it's fucking, it's probably as crazy for you as it is for me. Ah, sure, I remember coming out with the op- after the operation on my arm, and you know, you're still out of your face from the from the morphine. And Where did you do the, the surgery on it? In Vincent's. Vincent's, yeah. And um, you're thinking, what what just happened? We turned up training that morning. What is? Am we like? Am we dreaming? I, that's I, that's the word. What am I dreaming? I actually woke up thinking, am I still dreaming? This happened, like because never in in a million years did I think anyone was going to come in and shoot up a club. Was there a threat on me, or I wish there wasn't, or anything? You think in a million years? Think that I mean. So you, maybe when maybe when I was doing dodge years dogs, ago, yeah, then yeah, maybe yeah, I yeah. maybe then you think, wow, well, maybe I must have thrown well, someone. You out. hadn't got like so the, like the guard hadn't approached you with a threat in your life or anything never, from before. Never, no, no, never, no, never. Wait. She didn't have a. She if it, you wouldn't believe in your 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 club. We 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 trained up with strength and conditioning upstairs. It's two stories right, our club. Right, 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 we trained upstairs. You wouldn't believe in your front door open if there was a threat on you. No, as well as you know, <laughs> and then. You know, I, I turned up to the club before anyone else. I opened up the club. So if there was a trap in my life, he'd have shot me when I was opening up the club. Mm. Want to come into the club to shoot me when there was 15 other people there? Probably Lee. 
Ja, jeg kunne det være lag. Ja, det er jo bare lag. Jeg har Probably late. Probably late. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. Uh, but um, yeah. yeah, that's it. But you know. you know, you you probably, you probably, you probably like, sure it was like a bad dream. It was yeah. like a nightmare. And then like, you're coming out with the operation. That, that, that didn't happen. I just remember that. The one thing that sticks in me, out of my mind is waking up after the operation thinking, well, did I just dream this? this is, actually, I never thought of it a word dream, but that's how it was like. I just dreamed this. And then you wake up and there's guys at the end of your bed and then next minute you get a... Um, and actually you're reading the newspapers, there's a, there's a gym on your life where it got leaked to the newspapers by the guards that there was a threat on me. They give me a threat on my life, which was meant to be a private thing between me and the guards, but it was amazingly got leaked to the newspapers. So you think, geez, there's a gym on my life for what? And you think, what's going on? And then, then you start reading things. I had a run-in with the West Clondalkin gang. I had a run-in by a drugs gang in Bray. I had a personal defender. I think, Jesus, I've been fucking busy because I've got, these lads are after me, these lads are after me, these lads are after me. I've been busy. I've not done doors in years. And all of a sudden you've got all these vendettas against you, you're reading them in the newspaper. You don't start believing them yourself. Because everyone that was in that room, I'd say that day, is like, there's, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of victims in everything. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, the idea, yeah. Like, there's, like you, as you mentioned, it's the 15-year-old girl that was there. Like, yeah, there's no yeah. doubt that, like, probably for the rest of her life, she oh, yeah. will, now, I grew up, I grew up in Belfast, I grew up in Northern Ireland, so I won't say I'm toughened to a bit of stuff like that, but, like, I've, I've, no, I've no, been no. around gunfire, I've been yeah. around... Sure, we're not, we're not, pro I, we're not, a, nobody in that room, myself as so, well, is programmed for that. Th this is what I'm saying. So we're not programmed for that. Now, and then... Even the sound of gunfire, like... Yeah, and the uh, smell of it. The smell of it, yeah, the smell. Because as a kid, I remember, I remember that stuff as well. Yeah, the, yeah. Idea of the, the smell and the, that gunfire didn't sound like what I thought it was going to sound. Yeah, like. yeah. Gun sound for it, I thought it sounds like, it's like bang, bang, yeah. bang. Because that's what it is in films. Yeah. It's like a crack. But it's then it's crack. like it's like crack, 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 yeah. crack. It's like it's different, you know. And what that's I mean? when I turned around. That's when I thought it was a joke because it didn't sound. Because it doesn't sound like gunfire. No, it doesn't sound like gunfire. But it was like a starting pistol, your man. And, and I thought I just thought somebody was joking, messing. Then. Now when you see everyone screaming and running and blood and anything, this is not. So after hospital, you woke up, you get your, you get your surgery and stuff like that. You got you the guards and all that there. Then like you've probably been building your life since that day, have you? Since. Yeah. Well. We, so we, what happened with the club? Did you were saying this? Didn't, yeah. Saying then the then next, obviously, they had to do a forensic on the club, and then, um, next minute, the, the, the locks have right, yeah, the locks have been changed on the club. So we, I want to go back training once we get out of the hospital. But you can't. It, uh, they, they, they said they have to fix up the club, the council. But we've still not got, to this day, we still haven't got the keys back for the club. It's left idle. It's idle there at the moment. Club club was um, built for, for Bray Boxing Club in the, in the honour of what we'd just done in the Olympic Games with Adam and Katie. There's a plaque on the front of the club saying, Michael, ring open this club for Bray Boxing Club. But yet the council have taken ownership of it. And you can't go in and just change locks on a club. So was there not some sort of like contract that you were given at the start? We're, that yeah, was like, with a lease. So but the club's built for Bray Boxing Club. So so this now they're saying they're waiting for the investigation to go up to be completed. Why? Oh, they, no, they said the, the club's not suitable, not safe. Why is it not safe? It was safe before. Why is it not safe now? Mm. You know, I just don't, I, I, I don't, I don't understand it, you know. So, at the moment now, I'm training now in the Coliseum. I started a boxing club in the Coliseum gym there now in Bally Farmer and flying with kids' classes starting now Monday and Wednesday and we professional boxers are training there. You know, flying out there. But that has to be annoying. Like, that has to be annoying, as I said, in the idea. Because you were saying, like, then, it, they, it was it was made out that, that you don't want to run off in a, in a way. But, yeah, yeah, like in front of the papers. But, yeah, the guy, these, like, newspapers, right, what, what, look, look, I know a chap who is a photo photographer in the newspapers. The editor said to him, "Don't let the truth stand before before a good story." Story, story, story. And, and that's the before. way. That's the way they work. I know, a hundred percent. Well, like, if they if they printed as much as the good stuff that they had of the, the negative stuff, like, and it's and it is ridiculous because as I said, I, a lot of the stories don't go. I don't go through. Like, if, if mm. say say well, when this happened, the right where I was standing, we like, we well, was I was like. To be honest, I actually felt I felt terrible for Katie as well. Yeah, yeah. Because I was saying because he used their name for everything. Yes, and I was like, ah, that 
that would be a horrible like to, to have a fallout say with your father and then for something like that to happen to your father yeah. and it to be so public yeah, yeah. we felt terrible now yeah. obviously I felt I felt bad for yourself yeah. as well but my first instinct to yeah. be honest with you was like that's a weird one yeah, yeah. there has to be something going on there yeah because you don't because it, you know, why, why is this the reason why you fell out with Katie yeah, but, so oh, you don't know nobody knows oh, you would never really yeah, yeah this is it and as yeah. I'm saying because there's so many lefts and roots yeah, and there's yeah. like as he said, your marriage is ending. You're you're mm. not trying to get, and then this, and then this happens. Yeah, and then you're training professional boxers. What's happening? What's happening? Yes. But it does, it does go. As I said, it goes in a put. It. I'm not. I'm not going to read the newspaper and yeah. be like, uh, oh well, then that's the, that's it. Yeah. That's, yeah. But and most you, people don't read the newspaper, Paddy. They read the headlines. I know. And you know the worst thing? Oh, that <laughs> mate that read the fucking headlines. Yeah, oh, the mate read <laughs> the head, Yeah, yeah that's what happens. Is what happens. And no, then, it is. and then at the bottom of at the bottom of the the story, they write two pages on you, right at the bottom of the story. Say, Peter is not involved in criminal activity. <laughs> but they've wrote all this story about you, you know, saying he's had this, this, and then at the end, so he's not involved in criminal activity. It, here's a mad thing, you know? right? Because I was saying this to you, and it's totally off this subject, right? Because I was saying this, I was watching. If you haven't watched Narcos, right? <laughs> Go and watch Narcos. <laughs> but watch them like this. Watch the Narcos one with Pablo Escobar, then Papa Narcos, then watch Mexican Narcos, then watch El Chapo, right? And I've just finished watching it. Be up was only four weeks old when he loves it. <laughs> that's what he says. Go ahead, right? But the corruption that goes on in it is absolutely eye opening, mm. right? Regarding as I said, the media, regarding what they're doing with the president, regarding how 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 everyone's getting paid off, like it's a great it's a great like kind of blueprint to look at mm. and say, holy shit, if that happens, wouldn't the place be fucked? That is happening. Yeah, it is happening. <laughs> that, that is happening. It's up well, people don't. It's the media who decide who gets put in government yes. every year. Yeah, because you're not worried because the media, or the government own the media. The, yeah. the government are stupid. The government are going to go, yeah, 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 sound. Some bloke can make a paper down the road. No, he can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. He does what we say it, and he puts yeah. in what we say and we regulate it. And, yeah, and they regulate. They, they guess the newspapers, the propaganda uh, decides who's in, not, not the voting. They decide who goes. This is what I, oh, I, told, oh, I said elected. this to Robin before as well. If Kim Kardashian turned around and tweeted that you're a prick, Robin, you're a prick. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> 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 that's, that's the how truth. it works. Robin, that does sell Paddy Hill hands. Now, good promotion for the podcast. Now, mm. you'd have to take the blow for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it it's is. It's the truth. <laughs> it's a hard thing these days, as I said, to get to get good information and um, perception is another word that I've been using the yeah. Perception is. Guys, people don't know how to use perception. The perception of um, the, the perception of anything. Mm. That, that 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 means more now. That. That's more than the truth. They, they think they think the newspaper is a gospel. They said it in the newspaper. It has to be true. Yeah, but that that's the old Irish way yeah, as well, yeah. isn't it? It was on the news. Yeah, it's on the news. The, yeah, the, the woman and thing. But as yeah. I said, you know what? Fair play to you. Honestly, coming in and and and, and addressing questions like that is mm. fucking it's ballsy. It's ballsy. You I know what look, I, mean? I, I was. Got shot on the fifth of June. I was back doing the corners up in Belfast on that was nineteenth of June, was it? Nineteenth of June, back in the you can't lie, you're not gonna lie down for, no, you for can't. anybody. And as I said, there. every spot like every story has that kind of like that that get up and go out mm. and that's 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 the spoiler yeah. part of this story I have to say and, and and I I hope I hope everything works out for you, you know what I mean? I hope everything goes well for you and I hope I like I hope everything still goes well. What it is for Katie, yeah. Like as an Irish man, I'm I'm absolutely ecstatic. Yeah. It. But then as a dad, it, it was good to ask you a question of like, yeah. what is that like too? You know what I mean? Yeah, look, it's like no, no. Every time I say again, the ring is tough. It's tough watching on the TV when you feel when you feel you should be there. It's tough. I mean, don't get me wrong. No, it is. You there, don't, but you don't, as you, I said, the, the the fighter is always the captain of the ship, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. The, the fighter is yeah. the captain of the ship, and unfortunately, no matter what way it goes, I think the fighter will always stay the captain of the yeah, ship. Yeah. They should. They should. Yeah. They definitely should because they should be. They're the guys that are going in there and fighting people. They shouldn't be taking any judgment from left or right or anything like that. It should be all about the captain of the ship. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, that was episode fifty-seven, was it? Fifty-seven. Robin? 57, yeah. yeah. Make sure that if you're going to set any uh, New Year goals and stuff like that, that you actually fucking do them. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to, here's my advice. Yeah? You can give one bit of advice for New Year's as well. My advice would be this year is to, to find out who negative people are in your life. Find out, even if it's if it's your ma, it's your dad, it's your granny, you know what I mean? It's your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Find out where you find your most times being upset or sad or not happy around that type of people. And separate yourself from that. And I guarantee you when it comes to the end of 2019, 
that no matter what you do in between that, you'll have a much better lay of the land and you'll have more. That's just the way it works. Yeah. I'm your voice for 2019. I say just try to be transparent, be honest with everybody. That's a good way. That's a good one. You know, Look after yourself, like it, subscribe, share it. Catch us That again. should be number one New Year's resolution. Pleasure. Thanks, Subscribe to the No Shame oh, podcast. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>